So it's been 15 months since we've closed. We are so excited. Last week we announced our season. We were calling it Beyond the Stage because we really learned that last year we went beyond the stage, that Broadway Utica was just so much more than live theater. Our mission is to carry out live theater but also bring community programming and to support our youth. So that's exactly what we did. And we're very proud of what we did the last 15 months, but we're ready to get back to the Stanley and, and bring in these touring Broadway productions. Super excited, especially for the fans of the theater and especially Broadway and the women across the street have done a phenomenal job putting together a stellar season coming up in August. So all of us at the theater are extremely excited for them, but also for the community of Utica. We're going to take this month, next month, get the building tuned up, get everything ready as best we can. And the doors are opening a full, full steam ahead in August. So we're really excited about that. We have Stomp coming in this August. They're going to be in Utica for two weeks before their performances, and they perform August 16th and 17th. So they're so excited. They've been here before. The tech shows and the ripple effect they have is it doesn't just impact the theater or Broadway Utica, so to speak. They need an electrician to come and fix something on the set. They need hair and makeup. They need somewhere to stay. They need somewhere to eat. When the Stanley's open, when Broadway Theater League is in, in session, that basically brings us 30 to 40 nights a year where it turns a Tuesday or Wednesday night into the business we would do on a Friday or Saturday. They're always busy on those weekends, but the, the key is to fill up during the week and, and that's what it does for us. It fills every chair in the restaurant. It's great to see customers coming back in the building. It's like a family reunion, getting everybody back in the building and having that social interaction again. If you're coming down to the theater for a show, stop down at Encore first. We basically have it down to a science. We can get you in an hour and a half, two hours, get you to the show on time, and you'll have a fantastic meal. Come to downtown Utica. We're open, we're alive, and we're happening. We're super excited to have the tech companies come in and the Stanley being reopened and having all these Broadway Theater League shows come in. It, it means the world to us after a year plus of shutdown that we are getting all of these people back downtown and coming out for dinner and coming out after the shows. The tech companies, they bring so much business because they bring the cast and the crew. They're here for a week, week and a half, two weeks at a time. They're gonna fill the hotels. They're just gonna bring a lot of business downtown and it's super exciting for us. We love the fact that people are out and about again. You know, they're feeling more comfortable and it's better for business and it's better for everybody's livelihood. And as the mayor always says, it's the best little city in America. And I can argue with that and who could? When the Stanley's in full swing and they're having their shows, the restaurant is just booming with customers, new customers, old customers. When the tech shows come in, the cast, the crew, people come in, they grab a bite to eat. If they come back into the, our city for, at another time, they remember us, they come in, and we form friendships and new customers, and it's so much fun. All of us here at Bella Regina are so excited to have our beautiful city returning to normal. We've all been through so much in the last year and a half and it's nice to see all the small businesses and organizations starting to come back to make our city blossom again. Downtown opening up and the Stanley reopening is just really great news for Modus and for our business. Overall, it, it really brings in a lot of folks. Um, we do a lot of a lot of dinners pre-theater for shows and really try to market that so that we can, can get folks in for a really nice, enjoyable dinner and then send them on their way to Broadway and to the Stanley to enjoy their show. The downtown revitalization program is just really exciting for us as, as a business. We really wanted a location downtown because we knew that there would be a lot of revitalization and a lot of growth in this area. On top of all of this, the mayor's been pro Utica, pro downtown, and we really can't thank him enough. And as the mayor always says, Utica is the best little city in America. Being inside of the Stanley is like being inside of magic. It can be anything you want it to be. It puts a smile on your face. You could have an adversary outside the doors, but your friends inside this theater. So it has a remarkable and extraordinary effect on everybody. And I think that joy that it creates is just what makes it so epic. We're alive. We're gonna be alive again. We are so excited to be back. Broadway's back, Broadway Utica's back, downtown is back, the arts is back. 
Live Entertainment is back. The city's doing a wonderful job supporting us and our programming. Our patrons are doing a wonderful job, but we need you to come down here and visit us as well. Visit downtown, visit Utica, go to broadwayutica.org, get your ticket, support your community, and come see these amazing Broadway top-notch performances right here in your backyard. If you've never seen a live performance, there is nothing like it. From when the minute the curtain rises, you will have chills, you will fall in love with the theater, and you will be coming back for more and more. I can guarantee that.